Hi everyone, sorry for the delay in getting a WAMAP video up, intro to WAMAP video. Um, I'm finally getting a chance to sit where it's quiet. So basically the uh, WAMAP organization should be work from top to bottom. Um, so hopefully I don't confuse you too much. I feel like when people set up course websites, it's like you're getting a look into their mind and some of our minds are a little bit crazy. So hopefully mine's not too crazy. Um, I am hoping you've already poked around in the getting started. So if you just click on the air, the little black arrows or on the titles, it drops down and you can see all the stuff. Um, so at the top, uh, you've got my intro and then the general course discussion forums and the typo forums are in this block. And I would also like to point out that, oh, well, I'm doing this on a tablet, so I can't really point for you, but if you can see my little star up here at the top, there we go, up here at the top, there's a forums tab. Um, where you have a list of all the forums. So you have at the top your general forum, your typos forum, and then there's one for each section that we're working on. Um, I haven't numbered all of our sections. So down at the bottom where it goes 3.5 and then 1.1, those ones are from other course stuff that I copied in to kind of help me set up my structure. So I'll adjust those as we go. Um, but use those Q&A forums to ask questions, ignore the solutions forums. I can't figure out where they're hiding, but I will delete them as soon as I do. Um, okay, so back to where we were. Forums will be within whatever block I think they go with, but also you can get them from that list. Um, so if you haven't looked at this, look at it. Your syllabus and course calendar are there, although I've already modified the course calendar and I just decided to make each week's calendar uh, editable so I can make changes more easily if we need them. Um, so probably your safest bet to get the most up-to-date version would be to look at the week blocks, but this one, the big course calendar will tell you um, I'm trying to think what I'm trying to say. Oh yeah, the like the general schedule for group works on Tuesdays, homework or exams on Thursdays, our first exam is week four. Um, so if you want to look at those things, that generally won't change. It's just how far we've gotten that might change. Okay, so closing that block. So again, if you just click on the black arrows, it opens and closes these. Um, same thing with resources. I want you to explore this, but you can see um, there's a getting your question answered block. If you click on by your classmates, it takes you to that forums list again. Um, office hours, and I think those even look like they're right. Yay! Um, the Math Center link will show you their web page, and from there you can get to uh, click on math and you can get info about their math tutoring and should be able to find a schedule. And there is free online tutoring at SPSCC. I haven't tried it out. I've only heard one person that used it and she said you had to wait for somebody to get back to you. So I don't know exactly how great that is, but it's there. Um, there's also the textbook book links in this block. So there's several free ones at top. At the bottom, there's two that I've used before for classes that were totally decent books. I like them. Um, you should be able to get a used edition for less than $10 if you want to have a physical copy of a book. Um, videos, I've just linked some sites that I've had students say they really liked. Um, in fact, I know there's more than this. I'll try and think about what they were and maybe add to that. And then other online resources, these are fantastic. She Loves Math has these like kind of worksheet format um, pages for all sorts of different topics. So those can be really nice. If you need to do some graphing with technology, Desmos is amazing, pretty easy, and it sets up graphs really nicely. Wolfram Alpha can do anything. Um, Wolfram Alpha, that's the same, Wolfram makes Mathematica, which is like heavy duty math programming software. Um, and they've made this free to use um, website. They will prompt you to pay to have extra things, but you can get most of what you want without paying. So um, great place to get graphs, solve equations, simplify expressions, like it can do anything. And Symbol Lab is another one. Um, I actually haven't played around with it a lot for algebra. I heard about it from a student in calculus but it can um, solve equations, simplify expressions, the kind of stuff we'll be doing. And it tries to show you step-by-step, step, which can be really cool. Just be aware that it's a computer. It might not always choose the way that we're doing things. It doesn't necessarily always choose the best way even. I've seen it do things some really weird ways. 
So it can be nice, it's a good thing to check, but if it looks like it's doing something you've never seen before, probably leave it alone. Last one here, this I just found, this um, Project Nayuki Triangle Solver. There was some other cool stuff on there. I've linked a couple of, um, kind of, I think they're blog posts, basically. Uh, we will be doing some, a little bit of right triangle trick at the end of the quarter if we have time, just a really little bit, and this would be a nice way to check some answers. I'm going to poke around on that side a little more and see what else I can find at some point. Okay, so again, top to bottom, those should be your stuff for the beginning of the quarter, and now we're in week one. So if you click week one, I set these up as folders instead of everything just being a drop down. Um, you can see the calendar might look a little different than last time you saw it. Uh, I post a schedule up at the top. Uh, if I have some notes about what's going on in the week, I can put those up at the top. Anything new I generally send out as messages to everybody, so make sure you're checking your messages. Uh, notice over here on the left-hand side, um, you can see I have one new message and 10 forum posts, so watch that messages thing. Uh, you want to be checking those because they're almost definitely from me. And again, this should just be something that you work through top to bottom. So if you click on 1.0, again, it's a folder, so it'll bring you to a page. Here, let me close that. I was apparently in there. That shows all the parts of 1.0. At the bottom, um, because I have multiple 1.0 sections, I just put the, the Q&A forum down at the bottom and some extra videos or resources down at the bottom. It looks like I have one reading section as well if you need some extra scientific notation stuff. So I put my resources in with each section, but then somewhere at the either the bottom of an individual block or the bottom of the bigger block, I've put some extra stuff if you need it. So Clicking in to 1.0.1 .1 through 1.0.3, if you click the title or the arrow, it'll drop down. I put some extra words in this one just so you could see what my general structure is. Um, I could definitely add more wordiness to the others. I was just trying to keep them short. So if you'd like a little bit of directions in each block, just let me know. Um, but this is the general order, and it's the order that I think you should be following when you work through a section. So first thing, there'll be either what I've called a reading assignment or a suggested reading. Reading assignments, that's the early stuff where I've kind of had to make my own notes because it doesn't quite, the way I rearrange doesn't quite fit with a lot of what's in textbooks for our just our little bit of review. Um, so if I say reading assignment, please do make sure you read that. There's something I want you to get out of that that I think you're not going to get if you just choose any book. Um, if it says suggested reading, that's where I've gone and found something that matches up with what we're doing. But if you have a textbook you're using, you're welcome to use it instead. Just be reading something to get a little bit of a prep going for each section. Um, below that, you can see my examples. Um, so that, I'll click on it, is just exactly what I use in the videos. Um, oh, and I posted a version that I already wrote on. I'll try and go in and fix that. Um, so in here, uh, it's supposed to be a blank copy so that you can follow along. And I also like to have it there because sometimes if I make multiple videos and put them in a playlist, I miss one. So I just like for you to be able to look through and see what I think I'm doing in the videos. Um, that allows you to tell me if one of the videos is missing. It also allows you to look and say, okay, I need to go back. I was having trouble with scientific notation, so I need to see the 1.0.3 example and find that in the playlist instead of having to click through all of it. So always I should have my typed examples followed by my videos. You can click the little plus. Sometimes it makes the most ridiculous tiny little video. You can't even see anything. This one actually is okay size, so you can watch them in WAMAP, um, but also if they're little and you don't like it, just click on, there's probably even a, oh, I don't see a make it big link. If you click on the title, as I say this, it's not working, there we go. It'll take you to YouTube and then you can make it full screen or whatever you want to do. So um, click, click everything. You're not gonna break WAMAP by clicking on something. Um, yeah, and read, definitely read through the stuff I put in this section. Uh, some of the confusion people had hopefully is addressed by this. Um, after videos, if I have a worksheet, it should show up there. 
um, as I'm working ahead on your like week two, three, four stuff, I think I might get into the habit of um, bringing you worksheets on Tuesday. So as long as my copying quantities don't get out of control, I might actually end up bringing all those to you just because that allows me to use Monday to really look over them and think about if I have what I want or not. Um, but I'll also make sure they end up here so that you can get them if you miss a class. And then worksheet keys will also show up in here um, after I make them and want you to see them. Unfortunately, I can't nicely link to your online homework assignments in the same page that I link to everything else. So that should always show up at the bottom. So you can see here 1.0.2 and 3 online homework. And if you click that, it brings up your homework assignment and you can see that your questions are all listed on the uh, left hand side and you can just click through. Uh, some of them will have videos. Those are not my videos. Those are not required videos. But if you're having trouble, somebody built this question and put a video in there and I wanted to make sure I left all those available to you so that you could get extra help if you need it. So just be aware that I did not make those videos and I have not watched all of those videos. Um, I have a hard time imagining they do anything too weird, but if someone is doing something that seems really different, just don't use that video and maybe let me know so that I can double check it. Okay, so let me just show you a section that's not quite so bulky. Is that a good one? Yeah, so here's an example without all the words. So again, at the top you see examples, then you see my videos. If there were any worksheets for this section, they would show up below my videos. And then online homework is on its own at the bottom. Um, some sections have worksheets, some don't. In this review section, there are some I think that might not be true. I think there might be one or two that I didn't give an online homework assignment to, um, but whatever there is for that section, it'll be in there. So just make sure you work your way through these in order and you should find everything you need. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. I don't think so. So again, when you get to week two, I have almost everything up. I just need to make some videos for the later sections and post them. Uh, same thing. You can see the calendar, homework is due on Monday. Uh, I added a little note below the calendar to tell you what would be due the following Monday, but you can also see it on the calendar. We're working on 2.1 part two, part three, and then 2.1 part one, two, and three. This week, that's what will be due next week. Um, so again, just work your way through top to bottom, reading, examples, videos, homework. And these ones actually didn't do pages, and I'm hoping that maybe makes it a little easier to just skim through everything. So hopefully that was helpful. Let me know if you have any other questions. Thanks for watching.